You know, I think it's strange how people cannot see the irony in them complaining that people aren't discussing the subject of racism directly and really trying to get to the meat and potatoes of it and trying to get to what makes people racist. But then all they want to do is complain about how people will demonize and boycott symbols that society currently views as racist. They're saying that, well, you know, symbols are just symbols. And that's true. Symbols are just symbols. But symbols to society have meanings, have things that they stand for. The symbol itself is not a mindset. And nobody is trying to argue that those symbols themselves are a mindset. Nobody is trying to argue that if you get rid of a symbol, you've gotten rid of the mindset that people associate the symbol with. Nobody's arguing that. Nobody. And yet, some of these people will still continue to argue as if that's the case. Oh, it's so important to bring this up. Oh, it's so important. No, it isn't. You, you are essentially arguing a straw man when you do this. Nobody is arguing that shit. Okay, it is very easy for a symbol that originally meant something positive to be turned into something negative. That can happen in almost an instant. But the other way around? That is next to impossible to do within the same generation. Normally, we would have to have forgotten, long forgotten, about a symbol. You know, generations have to die out. And then some new generations come up and say, Oh, this symbol. Well, this used to mean this, and then it meant this. I like the old meaning. Let's take the swastika, for instance, right? Because that's what was being brought up in some of these recent discussions. You know, until the Nazis... Uh, used the symbol for themselves, it was a symbol that was very positive. Well, the only way that we're going to get society to view that symbol as positive again is once enough time has passed and people have kind of forgotten about the symbol. And then it gets re-brought up in the more positive way that it used to be brought up. But if you keep trying to make it an issue and make it, let's talk about the controversy of the symbol, let's talk about the controversy of the symbol, that's not going to make people suddenly, I mean, no matter how hard you try, no matter what groups of people are doing it, you're not going to change the meaning of that symbol to something positive again. That's just not how it works. People remember, remember negative things a lot easier than positive things, and that's the sad thing truth of human psychology. That's just how that works. Now, someone had brought up, uh, oh, the pink triangle, that was turned around, and I'm like, the pink triangle was a symbol of categorization. That has never changed. That's all that that symbol has meant, is a categorization. Oh, but, but it used to have negative connotations, now it has positive. And I was like, that's culture that changed its view of homosexuality. It's still the same symbol. It still has the same meaning as it did. Just before, when people would be categorized as a homosexual, they were looked at as negatively. And in the case of the Nazis, it was looked at as, well, you're going to die soon. The symbol never changed meaning. Okay? <laughs> Something like the swastika, after the Nazis got a hold of it, 
stands for the racism, the homophobia, the nationalism that was associated with the Nazis. Unless uh, somehow racism and homophobia suddenly become something good, somehow, which I hope doesn't happen, but, man, why is the frame rate so bad? Anyway, unless, the, unless those things somehow become a good thing, a, a, a benefit, then that the swastika stands for is going to remain negative. You can't change the way societies work. We can change elements within our society, but you can't change the way that change happens in society. We can't change our being human. We can't change, just snap our fingers or with wishful thinking that uh, humans, human psychology will just become something completely different. Okay, it's not realistic. It's, it's, it's absurd. You know, we can have wishful thinking all we want. We can have all the pipe dreams that we want. But that's not going to... It's not going to change humans. Um, you know, one more thing I want to bring up about this, since, you know, I am going on about the symbols and such, is... Some people are saying that when there's a uh, mob mentality that wants to boycott something, to boycott a phrase, to boycott a symbol, that that is essentially getting rid of free speech. Okay, Free speech is referring to the legality of something. Okay, you are free to state what you want. You are free to wear what you want. You are free to show what symbols you want. But you are not free from the consequences of those symbols. I've made videos in the past where I've said, you know, it would be neat if, if some people could state racist things and not have their lives completely ruined for it. Because when someone says those racist things, we can actually tackle those issues. But that's not how it works. Like, like you know, how people were calling for the guy from Duck Dynasty to be fired immediately when he, when he said the things that were racist or said the things that were anti-gay. He should be fired immediately. Well, that's the court of public opinion. And yeah, it can have quite a detriment on someone's life. But... That's just how it goes. It's not a legality thing. It's not the law coming in and saying, you can't say this or you're going to go to jail. It's the court of public opinion. And yeah, it can be harsh. And yeah, it's, it's kind of a mob mentality. Now, before anyone even tries to think, are you trying to say racism is... No, I'm not trying to say racism is good. I'm not trying to say homophobia is good. But I do wish that they could get discussed and that the people who are racist and homophobic and sexist could discuss their views without their lives being ruined by the court of public opinion. You know, that's all I'm saying. But it's useless for me to say. It's a pipe dream. It's wishful thinking. It's pointless. Because society works the way society works. We're not going to change that element. We can eventually bring new ideas to the table. Try to get, you know, try to get... Um different uh, approaches to things brought out into uh, 
I mean, we can push forth ideas, but we're not going to change the nature of society. We're not going to change the nature of humans. If you want to, now I'm going to go back to the beginning of what I said in this video, is if you want to discuss racism, discuss racism. Just put it out in the open. Discuss the subject. Discuss what it is that causes people to become racist. Discuss what keeps people racist. Discuss some of the things that, I mean, discuss how there's a bit, there's still quite a bit of white supremacy kind of within our society in general here in this country. There, there's still, it still exists there. Discuss those things. But you don't discuss those things by complaining about the fact that people are boycotting symbols. You discuss this by actually discussing it.